Hi kids! Today's lesson is on the measurement of length and mass. After today's lesson, we should be able to Name length and mass measuring instruments Measure the length and breadth of objects State the metric units for length and mass And also compare the masses of different objects So are you ready? Then let's begin! Have you ever been asked how tall you are or how long something is? The only correct way to answer is by measuring. But what do we use to measure lengths and heights? There are many things. Let's list a few of them. Number one, a ruler. Number two, a tape rule. Number three, a meter rule. Some people even use ropes to measure, but that's not an accurate means of measuring length. Now let's take a closer look at the smallest of these instruments, the ruler. The average ruler is 30 centimeters. A centimeter is a unit of measurement. One centimeter is this long. And since we can do this 30 times on the ruler, we have 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters is the same as 300 millimeters. Now that's another way of measuring things. Both centimeter and millimeter are metric units for length. Let's say it again. Metric units of length. Another thing people usually say is, this thing is very heavy. But how heavy is it really? The only way to know is by weighing it. That is, measuring the mass of the object. We usually measure the mass of things using a scale. There are different kinds of scales. But the one we use to measure ourselves is called a bathroom scale. Another type of scale is called a balance scale. It is used to know which is heavier between two objects. The last scale we're going to look at is the portable scale. It's used to measure the mass of really small items. But just as length has its units of measurement, mass also has its units of measurement. Mass is usually measured in kilograms, but for smaller objects we use grams. Now let's look at a small example. This is a box. It's not very big, but we want to know the length, breadth and height of the box using a ruler. And we also want to know the weight of the box. This side of the box is 10 centimeters long. This is the length. This side of the box is also 10 centimeters long. This is the breadth. And this side of the box is 15 centimeters long. This is the height of the box. So let's put the box on a scale to find out how heavy it actually is. It's 4 kilograms. Now that's a heavy box. Now let's find out if this apple is heavier than this pile of sand using the balance scale. Oh, the pile of sand is heavier. It means it has more mass than the apple. Now that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Today, we learned about different kinds of measuring instruments. We also learned about the units of measurements. Finally, we learned how to measure and weigh objects. And now, it's assessment time! 